I've only ever shot one other video in Fort Worth, and so I'm excited to be shooting in this park that I've come to a few times to walk around and ride bikes with, with my wife. And actually while shooting today, I met a really cool guy who was fishing, and yeah, welcome to the channel. Thanks for subscribing. As a tech YouTuber and content creator, I always want the highest quality that I can get from my devices. So after watching a video on YouTube, recommending a really high quality LUT that I can download and use from my Sony FX3, I was very, very interested. So today we're gonna to be doing two tests to see if these LUTs can still get me very high quality video footage while also speeding up my post processing. So for the first test that you just watched, I wanted to set up a cinematic sequence where I set up each and every shot using an external monitor with these LUTs installed on it. Now doing it this way will give me an idea of how it would look at its best potential because I set up the white balance exactly like it's supposed to be, the exposure exactly what I want it to look like, and I actually got to see the finished product on an external monitor. Now as a YouTuber and content creator, there's a lot of times when I don't have time to set up the shot exactly like I want it to be. So for the second test, I'm not gonna be using the external monitor to see what it's gonna look like in post. I'm just gonna go out and film with my camera. Do you mind if I film one of y'all making a drink? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely, man. Woo! My biggest goal for this year, for me, has been to uh, do a lot more cinematography. So what'd you guys think? Felt like it turned out pretty well. Also made another friend. Dude had Peter McKinnon's ring. He also had moments like brand new merch they just came out with. So that was pretty cool. Hopefully, like I have zero like, I don't know, filmmaking friends in Texas yet. I have one friend, his name is Adam, but he's not filmmaking anymore. And so, I mean, if you're in Texas, if you're in the DFW area, like I need more friends to make these films with. So let me know. What do you think about the coffee? It's good. Yeah? Yep. Do you taste anything like fruity in it? Yeah, I thought it was floral, but I guess it's more of like a fruity one. After using these LUTs on a few different shoots, I've come up with a few conclusions. Now, I'm sure you noticed, but I mainly only found myself using two different LUTs. Now, the LUT that I used the most was the LUT called Vision, and then the other LUT was Eastman. Now, whenever you download and buy these LUTs, they come in two different versions. The first version is the standard version, which they recommend you use the most, and the other version is the legacy version, which basically adds more contrast to your image. Now, I actually found this very, very useful because if I tried to use the standard LUT, on the scenes where I showed a lot of the sky and it didn't look as good and it didn't look as contrasty as the other footage. So using a legacy LUT actually worked really well. Now, if you create content online like YouTube videos or TikToks or Instagram Reels and etc., then I don't know if I would recommend these LUTs to you. I specifically think these LUTs are made for filmmakers and people creating short documentaries or just really anyone creating narrative type content. These LUTs work great for that because they look more filmy or short filmish if you want to use that as a word. And it really did look like I kind of shot it with a more expensive camera and I spent a lot of time color grading. However, I did not at all. I just threw this LUT on there and it worked great. As far as talking head content like what I'm doing right now, I found it very stressful to use these LUTs on my external monitor because I was afraid that maybe I would be too overexposed because the LUT showing on the screen did not look that great. And whenever I got the footage into post and tried to add the LUT, it actually looked like what I thought it was gonna look like, which is blown out and overexposed. Now the reason for that is because I'm shooting outdoors where I can't really control the light as much as I would like to But in a studio setting or any indoor shoot, I'm sure that you wouldn't have this problem at all However, if you are shooting outside that is something to keep in mind which on that note I know a lot of you may say well That's a problem whenever you're shooting any type of video to watch for the lighting change However, if I just shoot s log 3 and then I color grade it the footage actually turned out a lot better in my opinion than it did with the LUTs as the lighting changed. Now I haven't said it before but I'm not sponsored at all. I bought these LUTs with my own money 
that being said, I don't recommend these sluts if you're a YouTuber like myself or any type of online content creator. Now, if you're a filmmaker or you do like documentaries and etc., I strongly recommend these sluts because they definitely will save you a lot of time in post-processing. Thank you guys for checking out this video and welcome to 2020. It's gonna be a great year. Peace, see you guys in the next one.